Okay, so this is gonna be another vlog about America's Next Top Model Cycle 17, episode 11, I believe. But, um, yeah, first off, Angelie is like surprised that she was like selected through the next week, and Dominique was like, everyone's hating on Angelie personally. I'm I'm tired of Angelie, but whatever. Anyways, first thing they do is they're getting a challenge, and that challenge is they're like, they're writing a blog about Greece. So they have to take three pictures, and they're going to use one for the blog. And of all well, the three pictures, as in any location, what they want, and they have to write about it. And the given time is three hours, and, um, first they have to pick clothes, and, um, Laura was the last one to leave for clothes, and then when it comes, came to the, to the, what do you call it, the f pictures, um, Laura and Al was about to go, went to the same location as Allison, so she went somewhere else, like, to some boating thing, but anyways, Angelie wanted to go, like, somewhere ghetto that reminded her of home, Lisa went very typical for reviews, like as in great clubs, foods, I mean, come on, think of something different. Allison's weird, she just wants like dead things, so she wanted like an abandoned building, typical of Allison. And, um, anyways, they came back and, um, Allison was the last one to come home to write her blog, and then we go and Nigel came in to let them know time's up. Yeah, he's the one that told them about the challenge, sorry I'm forgetting things, but, um, yeah, and then, um, and then it's time for the motion type of artsy video or something that Tara usually does, like Cycle and Cycle, the winner, and Kayla's Cycle, and um, it's for her book no novel Modelville or something. Yeah, it's about a novel about models. Basically, the whole nutshell of the modeling industry, I guess. So, and then, um, I don't really know. Basically, the main character is Tuki, I believe, and the girls will portray her in different chapters. And, um, I don't know, it was pretty forgettable, you know. They were styled pretty nicely, um... Allison got some cat things. She lo you know, she loves cats. As her Tumblr, she has a Tumblr. You can follow her Tumblr. I don't have it, but just search it. So she was like dressing in cat. Very typical of Allison. Laura's like some whipped cream. I don't know. They were given so much of the things, the scenes that they were good at or bad at. Like Laura, she's too, too sexy, so they gave her a scene of you know doing the whipped cream, and usually whipped cream looks rather sexy. And then, um, Allison with the cat thing again, Dom, I uh, know, Dominique, Angeli with being sad, you know, her story, blah, 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 and she did a good part on that, and Lisa was really different, she was, like, being a mother or something to a kid, an obsessive mother, but anyways, um, I think, it, oh, yeah, the shoot was going for two days, and then, um, they finally announced the, the winner of the challenge, and that, and Franco, Franca, Franco, or the lead of, not the lead, the executive or something at Vogue Italia was there to, to select the winner and um, they didn't like Laura's because it was deep, but what, I don't know, her picture was sexy, that came up again. Then um, Allison Franco liked her picture because of her eyes, but her blog was too short. They liked Angeli because it has a lot, it was, there's class to it. Being educated is a bit of class, I guess. And the Lisa was a bit too Hollywood, like doing the complete opposite. But anyways, Franca picked, um, Angeli. So Angeli was, and the prize, and Angeli was super excited. And Angeli, well, the prize is like a, a seven week, seven day vacation in Greece at uh, some hotel, some nice hotel. But anyways, back to the to the f editorial film, whatever it was called, Tyra's Dream, 
um, time by tired. Um, what was it? Oh yeah, they have a, a, a male model this time, not a cat. And Allison was like sad. So we got in the... And it was, um, what do you call it? It was Tyson Beckford. Basically the male lover or something. And this time Tyra was part of it. I think it's Tyra when it's in Tyson action, so that's why. Because there's a scene in the book or the film where she kisses, they kiss, but because she ends up kissing his thumb. I mean, come on. But anyways, yeah, the end, they had to shoot the beginning scene where they start off, and then the ending scene of basically who reveals America's Next Time Model, which will air next week. It's a two type of week. Um, film that they're going to show. Anyways, back to the thing. Back in his judging right now. And uh, who, who was first? Angela came up first, being like, her story, they liked her, blah, blah. They also liked um, Laura's, but she, again, she was a bit too sexy. And they liked Allison a lot, but Tyson Beckford didn't like Allison at all because I think Tyson likes more like aggressive girls, whereas Allison's like a complete opposite. She's very introverted. But, well, I think Tyson, I bet you he liked Angelie a lot because she's a complete opposite, and he liked Laura a lot. But he likes more of the outspoken girls, and Lisa did very well. And um, yeah, there was probably a long judging this time around because they showed some backstage with Ken Mock, the producer of the show, and. Um, yeah, what, what happened after that? I don't remember. What was it? Yeah, then they finally made their decision. It, it took longer than usual because these four girls are great. Anyways, yeah. The first call out was Lisa because she was good. But she, the thing is, they, she needs to... Sometimes she gets too into it that she loses her pretty. And then it was Angela, surprise, you know. I was very surprised by Angela too. She did pretty good this episode. But I'm over her. I'm very over her. And um, who else is next? And so the bottom two was Allison and Laura. The complete opposites, you know, bubbly in life. And the other is the way you call it, not bubbly. And the other one is good in photography. And that one is okay, but more sexy. But anyways, she, um, they, she told, they told, like, Allison she needs to work on her eyes. Because when she, the sun hits it, she loses 50% of her potential. Of her great work, anyways, yeah. So therefore, Allison was the one to keep. So Laura was sent home. My favorites. Well, not my favorite as much anymore because she's kind of boring now or very typical. I don't know. There's nothing surprising this season. I don't know. I'm very disappointed. And it seems like Andre Lane Tally is like pushed him aside. She doesn't do much to this to the show anymore. And um, it's all about Tyra and Nigel, and not enough about Andre. Anyways, next week is a season finale, and um, I really hope if Anjali wins, it's like, come on, the show is like, it's already set up. Lisa, I'll be surprised. Allison, I really want Allison to win just because she looks more model than all the girl, all the other girls. And she's still awkward. I don't know. Probably Angeli is going to win, I know. But who do you think is going to win? After all my vlogs I've done, who do you think is going to win? And if you guys want me to continue with these vlogs, let me know. If not, then whatever. But anyways, next week's episode is the freaking runway. And it looks so over the top. They're in there underwater, walking underwater. And they ended up on some flight string thing flying or something. That looks ridiculous. It's like over the top. It's like... Jumping the shark on model on model runway shows. It's so stupid. Anyways, next week is the last vlog of America's Next Time Model. It's like seven. Stars. Okay, bye. And thanks for watching. It means a lot to me because people don't care about me. So at least you guys do. And thanks for watching.